So what we were showing uh, you in the previous demos were um, several aspects of our uh, consumer and embedded oriented um, uh, devices uh, as well as capabilities. Now those same capabilities actually translate very well into the next generation uh, auto infotainment, aero infotainment uh, type systems. So the things that you enjoy inside your car as well as uh, while you're out at 30,000 feet flying. So consoles like this um, where you have uh, digital clusters uh, as well as uh, console units where you can do your multimedia, you can do uh, uh, navigation, and down here even larger form factors where you can play back video in the back seat uh, for your children or other people within the car. And so uh, Freescale has a long history working with the auto infotainment uh, uh, industry and uh, the 6 Series is actually designed uh, very much so with that, with that market segment in mind. And so things like uh, automotive qual uh, is something that we do from the uh, from the very beginning with our processors, which allow you to do the larger temper uh, temperature ranges uh, that are required by the auto industry, uh, as well as a number of different features like CAN and MLB buses and uh, some of the security features. And so, uh, a couple things that we're showing right here. This is our uh, this is uh, the Car 2.0 from QNX um, stack, and it's running on our iDynamics 6 Quad development platform. Now, these different uh, extra platforms uh, allow us to produce or actually uh, pull out uh, some of the different signals like um, uh, you, know, you see di different jacks for video and audio. These would be what would be actually be inside of the car to be able to bring video uh, and other signals out to the rest of the, of the uh, car chassis. Uh, hence the board is much, you know, much bigger than what you would expect. But like with the, uh, with the car 2.0 uh, system, uh, this is all running on QNX. Uh, we are, it allows us to be able to have things like uh, uh, video and audio playing, as well as navigation, turn directions, uh, GPS. Uh, so this is just a representation of what a navigation system would show. Um, uh, your directions, as well as multimedia. So in this case, a, uh, a song, uh, as well as different settings like uh, auto, uh, environmental controls, uh, dual environmental controls, etc. The ability to make uh, communicate, so be able to make phone calls, uh, social networks, voicemail, email, text messages, and then get all the applications. A number of different applications that you can have with uh, QNX. So one of the things that we see with these systems is that what consumers want to see in their things like tablets uh, or their consumer devices, they're also wanting to translate that experience into the car. Um, hence the need to be able to do things like uh, high quality video playback like we showed, uh, 3D graphics for navigation of course, but also for game playing. You know, if you have kids in the back uh, that are you know, bored on a six hour trip, uh, drive, they're probably going to want to be entertained and uh, that's something that parents are really excited about. Now, one of the other aspects behind all this is safety. So uh, when you think of your car, some models today have uh, backup cameras, uh, they have uh, radar navigation systems, uh, all different types of things that keep you safe as a driver. What we're showing here is we took a car with uh, a 360 degree view um, camera. So this is what's panning back and forth. Uh, we obviously don't have the camera here at CES, or the car here at CES, but uh, we captured the view that was wrapped around the entire car. And what we do with the 6X in real time is uh, get rid of the fisheye lens effect so that we can have a uh, forward uh, or reverse view of what's in front or behind the car. So that would be good for uh, you know uh, moving forward and moving back. But by using OpenCL, one of the things that the 6 Series has uh, is full OpenCL support in our graphics processor. We can actually use the uh, information in these images to create a 3D model, an overhead view of the car itself. And so you can use this uh, as another way of navigating. So if you're trying to drive, and you want to be able to get into you know, a tight parking space, you can actually take a view above the car virtually to show where it is in relation to the rest of the objects around you. It's a much easier, more intuitive way uh, to be able to find out where you are and how to park so when you do parallel parking, you're not bumping into, uh, into it's, it's the It's like cars. a game a little bit. It's like a game in a lot of ways. But, but for real. It's a game, but it's for real. Absolutely. Right. And um, just the... Uh, you know, in the end, just to kind of wrap up, um, uh, this is actually just a uh, 3D model of a car, and uh, we're showing it at about two million uh, triangles per second. Um, and it's just simply trying to show the uh, rendering power of the iDynamic 6 Series triple play graphics system. 
uh, in this case, a very highly detailed model of a car. Um, so that uh, you can use this for a variety of different ways. You can use this to show better information to the user uh, about whether a car door is open. Instead of just saying, we have this little uh, symbol that says a car is a jar, is a, is a, is a jar the door. You could have something on the screen that will show your car pop up and see that a door is actually a jar and say, this is the one that you need to worry about. Or if there's a problem with uh, something inside of the car, uh, visually show um, what's going on inside the system. And the main, uh, main advantage is that you support it, you promise to support it for many years. Absolutely. One of the uh, key strengths, one of the unique strengths of Freescale is that uh, we typically uh, do 10 and 15 year uh, life cycles for our processors. And with the 6X series, uh, we've committed to a full 15 years. So that means, you know, 15 years from now, uh, which is actually required by the auto industry, they, you know, once you produce a car, you still have to be able to support it for up to 10 years. So we'll be able to support and supply processors out to those customers well, well into the future. So in 2027, this, the, you're still going to manufacture still gonna ARM Cortex A9. Perhaps I'll be retired at that point, but we'll still be selling the processor. Even though at that point the, the processors are going to be insane. Well, the, uh, you also have to realize that the 6X was designed for that type of scalability. Um, so the, uh, the whole idea was to put enough processing power in there that we actually gave customers the ability to upgrade. Now, we are designing our next generation uh, processors today. Uh, so there will be more that will come in. And those, as they come in, will also have a 15 year long life cycle. To be able to participate in the auto industry uh, as a silicon supplier, you have to be able to make that commitment. Otherwise, you're not going to be a part of it.